Good morning everyone, Spazzy Dragon the Eureka aka Syndromes, and it's time for another episode of our Dwarf Free Portress. Let's just load up the save and see what we can do today. So, today we are actually going to do a couple of things. First of all, I did something off screen, and it was to reassign everyone with specific jobs, just so everyone can be whatever, right? So everyone always will have something more or less to do. So let's just open up our job menu and see what our current roster is. So we have pretty much everyone on the list at this point except for Radian, Saul Samuels, Thirzel, and Rico Velasquez. Now those four people are actually going to go into our next migrant wave because I set the population cap to 21 people. And yes, it's over 20 people, so you know what that means. Well, you haven't played War Fortress, it means it's going to start uh, giving us intruders, invaders, thieves, and other fun stuff. You know, for us to combat. But first things first, I'm going to quickly uh, tell you uh, a little bit more about the changes to what everyone does, and we're going to start off with Loki. So Loki's are uh, one of our best miners right now. He's a legendary miner. Uh, he is also our building designer. So he has no other tasks because whenever there's something to be mined, he's going to be on the job. Now next one is Abdaf. He is also our miner and pretty much nothing else and he's our second best miner being a Grand Master. After that we have uh, Rick Ross. Uh, where are you? There you are. Uh, he is our carpenter, our woodcutter and again nothing else because being a carpenter is pretty much a full-time job by itself considering we're going to be churning out a lot of wheelbarrows in a moment. Uh, next thing, we have Nosferath, one of our y last episode's newcomers. He's currently been given the task to be our uh, butcher, tanner, and grower, but considering he hasn't yet to do those things, uh, well, also he is a um, brewer, but he is going to be the first uh, person to join uh, Panzer, in the whole military thing, because he, uh, apart from that, he really doesn't have any starting attributes that would be really useful for us. So, you know, might as well. Next one we have Swallow. Swallow is our mason and our mechanic and also our stone crafter. Or at least he would be if I would have remembered to do that. There you go. Now you're a stone crafter. Yes. Next, we have Darius, also one of our newcomers. He is going to be our butcher, he's going to be our grower, our tanner, and our brewer. And that's pretty much it, because we really need more people who are going to provide sustenance to our fortress. So, good luck, you're a farmer now. Ace Rosgris! Where are you? There you are. You are our or our furnace operator, or grower, butcher, and brewer. Have fun with that. Actually, it didn't save for some reason. Uh, so let's just make sure that you are our butcher, our, uh, our grower, and our brewer. There we go. And our furnace operator. Yep, everything's fine. Next, we have a Zislarian. Where are you? I have a separate, you know. Uh, he's our uh, gem cutter. He's also our grower, actually. Because we, again, we need people who are going to provide sustenance for our fortress. And he's also our animal trainer. Now, he is actually a pretty damn good gem setter. Sorry, yeah, I, I want to say gem cutter. There we go. Yeah, he's a skilled gem cutter now with all the gems that he's going, he's been going through. So that's a cool thing. Then we have Ghost Radical, who is going to be our uh, gem setter, who is really good at it. But he's also going to be our grower because again we need people who do that. That's 
it's a really time-consuming job, but at least there's no, never going to be a moment where there's too many people not doing anything. Next, John Wilkins. Uh, John is really interesting here because he's a potter, a subject that we haven't really explore, uh, explored a lot. He's also a spinner, he's also kind of a gem setter, but kind of worse than ghosts, so we're not going to give him that chance. But, uh, I'm going to add him to our military, so that's already makes three. Yeah, you're not going to be a potter, you're going to be a military dwarf. Next, we have the freelancer. Now this guy is going to have tons of fun because he is going to be in charge of our soon-to-be, hopefully, metal industry. He's going to be our uh, weaponsmith, armor smith, uh, metal smith, uh, metal uh, crafter, I mean weaponsmith, armor smith, blah 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 blah. Second, uh, after that we have Jeff Cake. Now this guy is going to be in our military as well because Apart from that, he is a good enough wood crafter, but the problem is we also need a grower. He already is a grower, so that's a really good thing. Skorak. Now, he's also a grower, and uh, he also is our wood crafter, so that's a good thing. For now, I'm going to leave him there. Uh, then we have Snake, who is pretty much the busiest dwarf of all people, because he's a planter. Um, he's a butcher, he's a planter, he is a wood burner, he is a brewer, he's actually a really good brewer. At the same time, he's also our exp expedition leader, and, you know, so far and so forth. After that, we have Havoc. Havoc is our wood cutter, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, no, 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 he's our boyer. He's the guy who made that bone uh, thingy -ma dingy uh, he has a, he's also going to be our tanner, grower, uh, dyer, uh, soaper, wood burner, and potash maker. Th th those are the skills he actually came with. But uh, at the same time, he is also going to be our leather worker, and he's also going to be in the military. So that is going to be a total of five military dwarves. Next, we have the Sauron. Uh, he has a pretty standard-esque job settings. He's a butcher, he's a tanner, grower, a brewer, and I think, yeah, and a leather worker. So he's our farmer guy, yet another farmer guy. And last but not least, we have Panzer, who is a miner and a military dwarf. Right, so that leaves us with these two last problems. These are two Dwarven Childs. Now, obviously, at some point they are going to grow up, but considering the speed that we're going through the game, it's actually going to take quite a bit, at least about five or six episodes. So one of the first things that today we're going to do is uh, construct a certain type of machinery that is both loved and feared by every single dwarf ever, and it's called the Dwarven Atom Smasher. And yes, those two guys, those those two dwarves are going to go into it because we need to free up those two slots for the migrant waves for the actual people who have signed up for this series. So yes, it is going to be kind of cruel, and that's going to be awesome. So we are going to construct this death room over here. It's going to be small enough, somewhere like this. We're going to just design, uh, designate that for mining like that. And as soon as that is done, we are going to need to build some... We will need to build some mechanisms. I'm going to build four of those, and I'm now going to sip my coffee. Ah, coffee good. So yeah, I'm again I'm shooting this episode before work begins, so, you know. And after this, we are going to build a bridge. Yes. We're going to build a freaking bridge. We are going to build a bridge inside a room. 
and it is going to rise like this and we're going to build it out of limestone okay so what a drawbridge draw uh, what a drawbridge does is it kind of lifts to the side when you push a lever a lever that we're going to construct in a moment now the thing is um, anything that's underneath that bridge gets smashed so that's a really good way how to get rid of various items you know like unneeded people so yeah it's kinda cruel but that is exactly where those two dwarven children are gonna go because we need to free up those slots for actual you know people who've signed up for the job so while we wait for that to be constructed actually who is going to be constructing that needs masonry who is our mason that would be Swallow. And who is Swallow? Oh, he's also constructing the mechanisms. Okay, so as soon as he's done constructing the mechanisms, then he's going to be constructing that bridge. Okay, fair enough. I can deal with that. But, in the meantime, we are going to prepare a couple of things. We are going to suit up uh, Panzer a little bit. He is our beloved little military dwarf solo man right now. So we need to actually make sure that he has, you know, some sort of shield. Yeah, he needs a shield. He's a helm. Yeah, let's go with two of those for now. Because it seems that we don't really have too much leather. Killing those monkeys with a fucking crossbow to the face didn't really yield that much. Where is the guy, by the way? Panzer, are you sleeping? Yes, yes, Panzer is in fact sleeping. He's sleeping with all of his freaking dogs in the same room. Holy shit, how can you sleep, dude? That must not be too fun. Actually, I just noticed that we do need to make some beds. Because right now we have 21 people and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 rooms, that's not enough, so we will quickly need to design a few more before we forget, and by we I obviously mean myself. Mm, there we go. Just a couple of more, like this. Obviously, we'll also need to make a few more beds. That's okay. Okay, and if everything is fine, Panzer should have pick, uh, picked up his equipment by now. Where are you? There you are. So, where are you? Um, inventory. Uh, wool trousers, tunic rope, leather armor. That's good. Oh, giant eagle leather cap. Ah, that's cool. And he also has a sheep wool hood over it. And the only thing that he hasn't picked up is, in fact... Oh, no, he did pick up a shield. Okay. Oh, what is this? What is this over here? Is that a... That's a steel bell axe. Uh, that is probably... That probably belongs to... That either is Rick Ross's or Nosferatz. Oh, oh, guys! 
Na Nosferath, when he uh, immigrated to our fortress, he brought in his own battle axe. Now, since we don't want him to be a woodcutter, because we don't really cut that much wood, right? We would rather him focus on something else. So his battle axe is over there. So this means that our glorious panzer can, in fact... Uh, mm, battle axe. There we go. And we are going to remove that. So now Panzer is going to... Apparently... Ah, there we go. He's going to take this battle axe instead. There we go! Panzer just got, like, three times more deadlier now. Because this guy is just going to fucking battle axe the fuck out of things. Actually, do we have things to battle axe the fuck out of? No, only ravens. We'll need to make sure that we keep a, uh, keep an eye on the map. These are the ravens in the red. They're tinted red right here. And we're just going to make sure that we keep an eye out there for something interesting to happen. Right. Swallow is still doing those mechanisms, and it's actually taking him... Okay, so that's going to be, what, one more mechanism. Okay. We're going to wait for him to make that one more mechanism, and we can um, hopefully make that room. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, look at him just... Oh, this fucking rock. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Swallow is one of the dwarfs we do not, in fact, want in the military. He doesn't look too, you know, too fun. He doesn't be... He... he oh. Hello, that's actually a lot of things. Giant peach faced lovebird. What? What is this? A huge monster taking the shape of a peach faced lovebird. She's very muscular and just gigantic overall. Her feathers are green, her si skin is cinnamon, and her eyes are black. Uh. Do we want Panzer to tackle something big like that? Okay, let's... <laughs> that, that would be totally Panzer. I think these are the guys, aren't they? Uh, yes. That would be totally Panzer-ish of him to go just just fuck over something like that, so... Okay. You are going to go kill all of the things. Have fun, Panzer. You go, you glorious bastard, you. Why aren't you dogs following you? I actually want your dogs to be following you, but the dogs are... The dogs didn't realize where the hell were you going. What are you doing? Where did you go? Oh, it looks like the birds are flying or they're moving off the map. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, you're just standing there. So why is Panzer just standing there? The dogs are doing something, though. Panzer is not. Are the birds somewhere up there? Oh, there we go. Now Panzer is moving again. Yeah, it seems like uh, telling Panzer to go fuck up some birds is probably not going to be the, the most fun thing to do. A human caravan has arrived. Guys, a caravan! Yay! We're going to sell them all of the things. 
So first of all, we want... That's odd. Okay, remember how our game ate our anvil? Pecanwood wheelbarrow is under anvils. I think that is what we traded in for an anvil. That's really odd. Uses and contents. The steel anvil is inside it. What? What? Wait, where is this? What the hell? I've never had something like this. So wait, we do have an anvil. So where the fuck is it? Okay, that is odd as dicks. Holy sh- Okay, wait. Let's try doing this. We are going to tell them to move the sandvil. Where is it? Okay, what happens? They moved a wheel, uh, wheelbarrow. Anvils. But why is it... Why is it in... Why, why does it say that it's a... Wow, that's kind of odd. Needs fire-safe anvil. The hell? Okay, and now let's tell them to... Don't do that. Yo, this is really odd. Like, really, really odd. That shouldn't be... Okay. Let's try trading that thing. Okay, guys, I think we found our glitch. Pecan wood wheelbarrow, yeah, that's definitely more than an anvil is worth. Okay. Maybe there is an anvil over here somewhere. Although I would be really... Hmm. And... Oh, there we go. Iron Anvil. Okay, we are going to take one anvil. And we are going to trade for it. And now... So that was a steel anvil that we bought last time for 300 dwarf bucks. Is someone going to take that anvil and uh, take it back home? Okay, that, that someone took it. Oh, there it is! Now we have an anvil! Finally! Weaponsmith Forge! Guys, we are in business. That was a really odd glitch. I've no idea what happened there. But that's good, because now we can finally trade something. Okay, so, small cut gems, uh, which are probably going to be kind of useless. Tools, we are going to take all of these wheelbarrows and have, uh, and have something traded for them. And I'm going to sip my coffee. Churning out wheelbarrows as if we're like making the model or model T or something. What's this though? I just noticed. That is a Rasus Maus leather helmet. Okay, but what is Panzer wearing then? I made that for him.
Oh, he has a uh, leather cap. Okay. Well, if he wants a cap instead of a helmet, well, okay. Anyway, time to trade! Oh, look at all these things. So, what do we want? Copper bars, that is something what we want. Gold bars, no. Sterling silver, no. Blocks, we want some glass just in case, and I'm gonna explain why in a bit. We want some clay just in case, again I'm gonna explain why in a bit. Copper drum, copper toy axe. Okay, you know what? I want to buy everything that is copper. So, we want relatively cheap goods. Copper, copper. Mm, copper. Copper. That's a dog for 50 dwarf bucks. It's not bad, but we're not going to do that. Okay, let's let's see. Um that's Drinks, wine, wine, beer, more wine, beer, spirits. Okay, those are buckets. We don't want buckets. Copper mall. Copper Morning Star, Copper Mall, Copper Mace, Copper Scimitar, Ooh, Large Iron Breastplate. Hmm. I don't know if I don't think that dwarfs can take, like, large things. Not sure, I need to read that up. See, this is one of, the more, one of those times where actually having the Dwarf Wikipedia open is kind of good. Bronze, copper, okay, copper buckler, that's kind of much for a buckler. Um, bronze, okay, let's take this copper then. Copper right gauntlet, that was my phone. Okay, and the rest is just... Let's see if there's some spawn. Nope, and seeds. Nope. Okay, and everything else, we're just going to... Oh, copper, copper, yeah, I just bought everything that has copper off of these guys, we're going to melt those off, large copper greaves, okay, and then we're just going to buy a lot of meat because we might as well. Okay, let's see if we can actually give them a good enough income with what we bought. Profit is about 2,000. They should be okay with this. Boosh. Yes. There we go. We are done trading with you, faggot. Oh, that's the metalsmith's forge being created. He's gonna go after the anvil over here. Yup, there it is. Oh, look at me carry this anvil like a boss! Because what we need to do... Is just make sure that... I'm just looking at um, all of the co copper things that we have um, over here. They're going to be brought in and we can start assigning them for melting. That's actually what I'm going to do right now. 
So we're going to melt this. And you're going to melt this. Melt. 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 What is this? Oh, that's peach wood. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the smelter and we're going to make sure... Ah, first of all, we're going to make... Hmm... Make coke. Okay, make... Okay, we're going to melt a metal object and we're going to set that to repeat. Now let's see what happens. Technically what what should happen is our furnace operator is going to take a metal object over there. That's that's probably ace, isn't it? Yep, that's that's ace yeah, that's ace Rosgris. He's currently melting the stuff. Hey, we have migrants, guys! We are going to let them come in. I I was kinda hoping I would be able to kill off those two unneeded things. Before the mig uh, migrant wave arrived. So we melted two things and we already have... we've de developed one copper block. Okay, so you need a couple of things to be melted for one copper block. Or not. Look, there's more of them. Okay, whatever. What do we have here? Oh shit, that's actually a lot of... Elk bird. What is this? Oh, that's the underground biome, the one that I noted that might have some, you know, nasty things in it. It's okay. Okay, there we go. Um, now we need to be a lever. Or, or at least we need to build a lever. We need limestone mechanisms for that. We are going to quickly get rid of these children and uh, then I'm going to see to assign the names for the migrants that arrived. So how many did arrive? One. A weaver. Uh. I wonder, do these guys actually have coke or something along those lines, or charcoal? I'm gonna quickly check. Uh, no, they don't. I'll screw you two. There we go, we actually have a decent amount of copper the making. It's not really that good when it comes to, you know, material for, like, armor and whatever. But it's going to be better than leather, that's for sure. Now here's the thing, when we're going to make those, um, you know, to equip a military dwarf like Panzer, we will need to make every individual part of armor, so we will need to make the breastplate itself, then we will need need the leggings or greaves, we will need to, to make him uh, armored shoes, armored uh, gloves, you know, gauntlets. You can't really make a set of armor, you need to actually make them one by one. Oh, we actually did buy some cages, didn't we? 
cage, cage, cage. That's a copper cage. We can melt it down. Okay. And now this lever is going to be linked up with a bridge here. And we are going to use the mechanisms for that. Horrible things are going to happen in that room. And yeah, those are the humans. They're going to be leaving. Yep. And there they go. Hmm. What happened? Ah, okay. We need we need more coal. Okay, we're going to ask someone to make more charcoal for us. That's going to be the wood burner's job, as soon as they have the chance to do that. We quickly need to make, um, like, we need to boil down or melt down all of those items, and we can start making some armor for our military dwarves. Anyway, it looks like we have about four minutes until the end of the episode, so let's see if something is... Oh, giant grasshopper. That's a big... That's a big nasty thing. Lol. Panzer. Plus kill. And look at Panzer go. Get over here! Bitch! The militia commander misses the grasshopper, attacks the grasshopper, but he, but she jumps away. Hacks the giant grasshopper in the right third leg with a steel axe, fracturing the chitin. A ligament had been torn. A tendon has been torn. Hacks in the left second leg with a steel battle axe. Dude, he's just chopping this thing up. Holy shit! Oh, and the last uh, last blow was hack, uh, the militia commander hacks the giant grasshopper in the head with his steel battle axe fracturing the chin and the ligament is torn and the tendon has been torn. Sploosh. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why we cannot have nice things. Good job, Panzer. Just smacked him in the face like a sir. So hopefully someone is going to actually l retrieve that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that snake. That snake hauling the giant ass grasshopper. Okay, so we have this linked up. So before we end the episode, let's pull the lever and ri raise the drawbridge. Boop, there we go. And now we are going to make a burrow. We are going to make it into the size of this room. And we are going to add citizens. Which are going to be this child. And this child. And now they should go to that room. Hopefully. That's one of them. Where's the other guy? <laughs> Look at Snake just hauling that. He's like, ugh. Ah, big ass grasshopper. Holy shit. Uh. Where's the other one? Why is he over there? Asshole. You are supposed to be in the death room. Why are you there? Well, 
All I just need to wait for the other one to go there and uh, we can pull the lever. And when the lever is going to get pulled, fun things are going to happen. That's the chopper, uh, grasshopper being um, divided up. Oh, there we go. Both children are in the danger room. Well, time to free up a two more additions for our subscribers, or, well, the people who've signed up for this Dwarf Fortress Let's Play on the forums. Sorry, guys. Say hi to your grandparents for me. Let's lift the bridge. Rest in pieces. Yep, okay. Time for work, guys. This is Spazzy Dragon, aka Syndromes. We're two dwarven kids less. <laughs> that was that was gruesome. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.